What's happening, guys? Keith here with your Impact Wrestling Slammiversary 2018 preview and predictions video. So if you guys caught me on Robert Does Wrestling's podcast last night, we did our own preview show. However, that ran about an hour long, so I wanted to give you guys a shortened version of my predictions, and that's why I'm here. So I think we should open the show up pretty strong, have that fatal four-way between Johnny Impact, Rich Swan, Ray Phoenix, and Taiji Ishimori. No stipulations here, no storyline, just some great action to get the crowd pumped. Um, Rich Swan's status, however, is up in the air. He did suffer a concussion at the MLW tapings, so it is unclear if he is going to even be able to make it to the show. Uh, if there is a replacement, we have a bunch of guys on the roster that probably could fill in um, between... Trevor Lee, DJ Z, Andrew Everett, Desmond Xavier, or maybe they're going to bring somebody else in. Who knows? Um, however, as far as the match goes, I think Johnny Impact should go over here. His uh, his return is pretty big. Um, I think he's going to be a major player in the future, so giving him the win here would make sense. Uh, I could also see Ishimori winning if they want to kind of bring back that... Uh, Partnership with New Japan, and I think giving the Bone Soldier the nod would be a good idea, but my pick is Johnny Impact. So, no real match order here, I just kind of went with what I went with. Um, next up, the House of Hardcore match, Eddie Edwards versus Tommy Dreamer. Just the split from Sammy Callahan and Eddie Edwards worked flawlessly, which led us to this. Um... Eddie's work as a lunatic has been absolutely fantastic, and uh, Dreamer's given some great promos, too. Um, this match should be bloody, as Eddie said last uh, episode of Impact, so I uh, expect it to be a hard-hitting and a uh, hell of a match. I think Eddie Edwards is going to go over here. Tommy's the guy that always puts over talent, so this should be no different. Um... But for what's next for Eddie Edwards is the real question. I mean, are we going to revisit the Sammy Callahan-Eddie Edwards feud? Who knows? It, it's very up in the air. I'm very interested to see what they do with him in the future. But Eddie Edwards gets the nod here. Our first knockouts match of the night, Tessa versus Allie. This, uh, this feud is starting to shape up. Uh, I really like what they did on this last episode of Impact with Allie and Tessa not being legal competitors in the ring. Um, kind of makes you want to see what happens when they do get in the ring together. However, I think Tessa is going to go over here. She needs that big win. Um, and maybe this will cement her as the number one contender. But Allie can take the loss. Nothing will harm her. But there's a possibility they continue this feud, and Allie gets a, a lucky win, much like Madison Rain. But my pick is Tessa. Um, up next, LAX versus the OGs, 5150 Street Fight for the tag team titles. Um, originally, on our podcast last night, I was going to go with the OGs, because for some reason I was under the impression it wasn't for the tag titles. However, it is for the tag titles, according to ImpactWrestling.com. So I think LAX should retain here over the last uh, month at the last two sets of tapings. It seems like, actually, the last set of tapings in June, we didn't get any uh, title match with LAX. They weren't even in action. Um, but over back at the Orlando tapings from April after Redemption, we had the tag team titles change hand three different times. So I think LAX should hold on to them here. Um Maybe there will be somebody who will interfere in this match. We could get Diamante back. I don't know her status. Um, or Conan brings in somebody else to help him out. This this can be furthered with the whole Conan and Eddie and Eddie Kingston thing. So I think LAX should retain, like I said in the podcast with Robert Does Wrestling. I thought that the OGs were going to win, but for some reason I thought it wasn't for the titles. And I figured if they had won that, they could go on and do a title match, but... My pick, LAX. Up next, the X Division Championship match. Matt Seidel defending against Brian Cage. Um, I think Brian Cage's time has come to win the championship. Seidel has held it for a couple months now. Um, not sure what he's going to do after this. I mean, I could see Seidel retaining if we want 
Congo Kong to come in and revisit that feud, make it go longer, but I think Cage is going to pick up the victory. Uh, Robert did bring up a point about maybe him using option C, but we will see. Um, so Brian Cage. Uh, now on to the Knockouts Championship match with Su Young defending against Madison Rain. Um, I think that Su Young really should retain the title here, given all they've put into her character and everything with the build between the two of them. Um, that alone has had me invested in the match. However, to play devil's advocate here, we have Madison Rain going to be in All In, along with Tessa Blanchard. Who knows if they're going to do a title match there if Madison Rain picks up the victory here. Tessa thinks she's number one contender because of defeating Allie. So there's a possibility of that. However, for Impact Strictly, I think Soo Young should pick up the victory and retain her championship. Um, up next, we have the hair versus mask match with Pentagon versus Sammy Callahan. Uh, this match is probably going to be a little ridiculous. Uh, I see Pentagon, however, going over. I really don't see him losing the mask and the hair on Sammy Callahan. It's not like he's got a ton of it. Um, and he wears a hat most of the time anyway. It should be a great match, but I definitely see Pentagon going over here. I'm sure there will be some sort of shenanigans with OVE. Granted, we'll see. We will see on that one. Um, and that brings us to the world title match of Austin Aries defending against Moose. Um, it seems like we're pretty split with people here. Uh, some people think it's Moose's time. Some people think Aries should still hold on to the title. I am one of those that think Moose is not ready for this. Um, I think Aries should hold the title for a while. Um, I, I think D'Angelo is going to play a factor here, maybe inadvertently costing Moose the title. And then all of a sudden, we kind of see a dissension between the two of them leading up to a match at Bound for Glory. Um, with Ares, I mean, he cut that promo in Ring of Honor about him defending the title anywhere. Any challenger is welcome. I mean, maybe you run with that and have just open challenges all the time with guys having a one-night-only appearance. I, I think that would definitely bring in viewers as far as uh, the world title goes, but it should be interesting. Uh, I think Aries should retain the title. Um, I don't think it's Moose's time quite yet. I think he needs to be built up a little more because that's just my thoughts. So it should be a fantastic pay-per-view. I'm very much looking forward to it. Should be great action. I believe they have a pre-show on the Twitch channel an hour before. Uh, the pay-per-view kicks off at 8 p.m. tomorrow night. Um... But I will be back here tomorrow night after the pay-per-view closes to give you guys a review video. So, thanks for checking out my preview and predictions video. I will see you guys tomorrow night. And until then, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.